if not, I'm going to have to leap and do something else. But if you missed it, we have been doing for the past month, we've been making our owl. Um, I, what did I do? <laughs> I am... Um, wetted down and sorted out the wings from last week that's the only thing i've done since last week if you missed them they're done on water soluble paper so i had to dunk them in water until the paper vanished and then let them dry so this is my wings i don't know if you can see but is that it's not even going to show up there's still a pro tip don't line your paper don't do the drawing in bright pink sharpie yeah, whatever. Okay, guys, are we actually live? Let me know in the chat. I'm just going to have a quick look on YouTube to make sure this is all working. Just slightly paranoid because we did this a couple of weeks ago. I spoke for about 20 minutes and nobody could see it. So I have to doubly check that things are working just now. Um, okay, YouTube says we're live. Where did I put you all? Um Mm, but I'm not seeing it. somebody give me a thumbs up or a hello or something if we are actually actually live um getting nervous now that I'm talking to myself so fingers crossed this is working um <laughs> I will just say hello to everyone who's in the chat so far so we have Bridget um hi Pam and everyone Oh, good. Thank you, guys. I'm getting notes saying that we are live. Yes, yeah, sorry. Very unprofessional, but yeah. Um, 20 minutes talking to myself. Bad. Um, Bridget's here. A very late, dark night. Yeah, it feels so dark today. Um, Pamela is here from Silverton, Oregon. Hello there. Uh, Diana from the Isle of Mull. Hi, Pam and Pam's clan. Hello, crafty clan. If you if you don't know, that's who you are. You're my crafty clan. Um, Maria, hello there. <laughs> joking hello pam and fellow fluffettes um lisa we're live thank you so much oh yeah it's popped up finally it's popped up let me know that we are actually live and we have seven people watching <laughs> diana you're on um bridget we can see and hear you thank you so much guys with lag and everything oh, nerve-wracking <laughs> yes so we should definitely be finishing the little owl today um it's so funny. Can you actually see see the pink pen still in the wings? But that's the back of the wing. So here's here's my wings all dried up. We've got wings to add. We've got a bit of shaved in. And then the bit I'm kind of nervous about is doing the feeties. But then that will be him done. So without further delay, let's let's double up the cameras. Hopefully we're not doing robot voice. I think I've remembered to stop that. We could get to work and then we can have a chat. So let me know in the chat how your week, how your day, how everything's been going. Um, I had a fantastic thing I've not had for like two years. I had about three days where I'd cleared all my Etsy orders. I had no pending orders, no waiting for approval. Everything was cleared. I've got one order, but thankfully it's a bit quieter now so I can think of some of my little fun projects. Okay, um, so next bit we have to do is cover the tail with grey. I don't have a load of grey left, but I've got plenty of colours of everything. Um, cover around the sides and the back and the underneath of the tail. Okay, That's, that sounds like something I can do. <laughs> where's, my, where's my needles? I put them off to the side here. So we can cover the tail with some grey and then yeah um Alex hello there good to see you um Bridget I'd like to subscribe to your channel but it's not coming up to subscribe monthly oh well thank you so much um I don't know much about it. There should be a little thing beside to subscribe. There should be memberships, um, but I don't know a whole lot about them because everyone I wanted to subscribe to hasn't been doing membership. Well, hasn't. I've not caught them to be able to, to subscribe to them. Um, but yes, for those who don't know, memberships is a wee thing. Um, it's like a patreon or a tip jar or something that when you get to a certain size of channel you're allowed to switch on memberships um which means people can can join and be members some people 
do lots of things for their members because they're wonderful and they can charge you can charge as much as you want um but yeah you can do all sorts of things for your members some people do like private live streams um coaching calls all sorts of things i don't <laughs> um my memberships are just i think it's like 199 or 99 cents and my members um your it's dog snack supporters you get some little emojis that you can use in chat um if you if you try when you're trying to put in a, anyone who's a member can do that just now try the try the mia emoji or something there's a, there's a few little just my little dog sketches that you can use in chat um so you can add them if mia starts barking in the background um but that that's it really um i I, I didn't do anything. It's just a lovely little tip jar if you feel like it. But nobody, nobody has to. Um, I waffled on. Oh, it could be join. Yes, yes, Carol. Thank you. You could be very right there. I'm waffling on nonsense. It probably says join. Um, but Carol, hello there. Okay, yeah. So how has everybody's week been? I have managed to be a little more motivated and get more done. Catching up with uh, making some videos for this channel. So I'll be able to go on. I really want to get on and make some more needle felting tutorials. Or I really want to get on and make cartoon video game dragons. That's, <laughs> that's my thing <laughs> that I'm wanting to do. So hopefully, hopefully I'll get to do that. Um, Alex, I want to see if you do the feet better than my better than the fight I had. Oh, that's why I'm nervous about doing the feet. I know it's going to be difficult. I'm not great with armatures. I fight with armatures all the time. Um, okay, so we've got a bit of shading for the tail, and then we've got the wings to add. So now here's the trick: is remembering which way he's facing. I'm doing that by the shape of his tail, um, and. Angle the wings so the lower tips point back towards the tail. Um, the lower tip should be level with the end of the tail, so we pull it down slightly. So I've, we'll pull it up a little bit and I'll tidy up that tail because um, that that's too big. <laughs> I've made <laughs> I've made him a bit too long. So we'll just do that. Uh, we want the wings to kind of overlap round and then felting them. Oh, that's crunchy. Um, and I will come on and do a little more shading, but I just want them tacked into position. Um, first of all, oh, no, I am going to have to add a little tiny bit of fibres just to get it to, to start holding because that's so well felted and then it's got a little bit of the crunchy paper still left in it. And anyway, I've got to kind of blend away some of the... <laughs> some of the red pen that's showing up here will bright pinky purple sharpie trust me um so we'll use a little bit of colors to blend that in yeah that's holding a little bit easier and the same i'm just gonna blend down the sides a little so that it's not naked there <laughs> And that just really helps it hold as well. And it does say, did I use all the grey? It does say to try and match some of the colours as you work down. So it sort of blends in a little bit. And then I've got to leave from about there loose. Ooh, you've picked up fluff, little guy. Um, so I'm not sure if I need to take the these bits further down or the grey bit further up probably a mixture of both so let's just while we're here do that a little bit too just cover up some of this area with pinches super quick feather <laughs> stuff I don't have much grey left so I'm going to do it with the pinches of this um, <laughs> uh, Alex had a dormouse about the right size for the owl um, as a friend in his beak. Oh, that's cute. Gross and cute all at the same time. Love it. Um, oh, ah, nice one. <laughs> that's the, 
that's the first in a while for everyone who's worried that I'm I'm ever going to stab myself when I'm felting. Yep, I just did. So if you do, just keep the stabbed bit away, <laughs> away from the felt. Oh, wouldn't it be good if I'd remembered to bring plasters up here? Um, oh, there we go. I think that's getting better. Let's just get this bit of blending done. Um, oh, and Alicia, hello there. Um, the owl kit should be available again in about two months. So awesome. If you're wanting to make this, this has been a fun kit. And definitely take your time and, you know, do it a lot more slowly than me. This would be a cool thing. Read the instructions, work your way through, watch, watch my video all the way through first before you start making it. So you get an idea about sizes and what you're doing and stuff it's so much easier to do it that way but it's been fun the instructions as always are good um and yes the valet's black nose sheep i just have downstairs it came yesterday but obviously wanted to finish the owl first i still have the cat and loads of other things to do as well oh that looks really nice now doesn't it that's really cool um Donna, hello there. How are you doing? Yes, for some reason this week was far more motivated for me, which is nice because oh, it's been a hard year for us all and sometimes my, my motivation has been in the toilet. So last year it did not do half as much as I wanted to, but fingers crossed for this year. All right, go by the tail and then try and... Oh, that's a good look how the wings overlap just at the back. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> There's going to be pink pen on this. But we, we know it, it's a me thing. There's going to be pink pen on it. That's fine. <laughs> okay, again, just add a little to blend it in. Yeah, I didn't rinse out because I wanted the kind of starchiness of keeping some of the water resistant water dissolving not resistant the water soluble pen in there i didn't kind of rinse it out within an inch of its life so it's got a little bit of a starchy quality oh and i should have showed you the wings close up as well because i didn't totally felt them all perfectly so there's kind of little patches but it all held together so that's good enough for me <laughs> so so yeah I, I was worried actually that i because I was rushing and doing it on, on tally. <laughs> because I was doing it on tally, I was a little worried um, that it wouldn't quite hold together, but it really did. So you don't have to, like, you want to make it as good as you can, but you don't have to totally worry. It's, it's not going to completely fall apart, or mine hasn't yet anyway. All right, I've just got enough left to blend this little section at the back where it overlaps. And we'll firm, oh, and I want to do a little more blending up here because that does sort of finish off a bit abruptly. Yeah, that looks better. All right, I'm just going to tidy this up. I love the effect on those wings though. That just looks so much nicer once it's put on the bead. Um, Oh, new member. Welcome, Carol Weiss. Thank you so much, Carol. I'm not seeing, I don't see the notifications pop up when I'm live through this Be Live thing, unfortunately. But thank you so much. <laughs> um, you guys are awesome. I will totally get, get me dog some more biscuits. <laughs> because it's been raining solid for like a week we have not had the walks that we should have been having and both both her and me are a little stir crazy so <laughs> any extra treats is a good thing right let's blend a little bit there as well that's a bit bare naked as well and i'm guessing his tummy needs to be white so i'm just blending a little bit 
that does look so good. So <laughs> it's like I'm being all vain, but it's not because this isn't this isn't my tutorial. This is the maker, so it really actually looks like an owl. <laughs> um, yeah, so where's everyone got to with, with their owl? I know you guys are probably like way ahead of me if you're doing the zooms and everything. Um, and I don't know, some of you are saying here that it's the, they've, they've got the feet done and everything. So, yeah, because their, their sheep's definitely starting soon. <laughs> uh, that will definitely be next week because, yeah, I, I think we're kind of done with this guy once I... Just gonna work a little blend up his tubby. So I'm gonna do that just by placing some. I've not been told to do well, no, no, I'm gonna wait and do his feet and see how that works first of all. But I just want to firm and tidy up this. Um, oh, Carol, you didn't get your zombie when you joined. Oh, I'm sorry. I I know why that is. I've just realized, of course, the zombies and everything were... I used to live stream through Streamlabs OBS. That's an open source broadcast software. And that's where the zombie came from. Um, but just now I've been using BeLive to go live. It's just a little easier. That's a, It's an online thing. Um, so it's a little easier. But it doesn't have my fancy zombies and it doesn't tell me when people have joined or subscribed or anything like that. All I can see, I can see there's 23 people looking, watching just now and there's 15 thumbs up. Um, Erica, hello fluffy friends. <laughs> hello. Um, Oh, Diana, your owl has gone back in his box. Oh, dear, was he misbehaving? Uh, <laughs> I, like everything, there was bits on this I wasn't sure how well it was doing, but just just that last minute, I think that looks really good. Um, um, yep, Alicia saying um, next week they're going to start the, the sheep on the Zoom as well, so if you want to get a head start and then dive on here, um, which I think is, is so cool, and it gives you like double the time, you're not having to try and do everything in the super fast time I'm trying to do it, but hey, it's, it looks so good in the camera. <laughs> is it because it's so close to my face? I'm not seeing what it looks like, but the shading and everything has worked super well so again great job makers right i'm procrastinating and not doing these feet am i that's like i'm not actually doing anything meaningful right so this is this is the wire um oh so nervous um i know i know i can do this we can all do this but still I'm terrible with wire. It just goes everywhere. Um, <laughs> and I always get it caught up in fluff. Right. 22 centimetres from one end, which is there. Bend to a right angle. Oh, there we go. Um, okay. Using the foot template on page 11, place the bend over the spot marked ankle with the length of wire pointing forwards. Bend the wire back on itself. Okay, okay. Uh, whoops, nervous. Okay, gotcha. So ankle, wire going up that way. I know this is going to work, but... Mm. And then bend back on itself. Right. Bend back on itself um, all the way. And twist. Okay, my pliers are kind of fraying the cotton covering, but that doesn't matter. Um, it does actually say to hold it with pliers and twist it. I don't, I knew I should have brought up two pliers. Um,
Okay, that's good enough. <laughs> that's good enough because I'm pulling off the cord. Again, line your foot. So we're making, oh, back toe, got it, right, 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 yes, back toe. So there's the foot, this is going backwards and then it bends here. <laughs> I'm not so good at twist. I definitely, you're going to need two pliers to twist this properly, or I would need two pliers to twist it. But it's, it's still going to work. It's going to work. Um, okay. Have I done something wrong here? I've done some. I have done something really stupid here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think the 22 centimetres is supposed to be this bit. Um, okay, I've done this the wrong way around. I see, I see. So I can, this is all cool. I can totally fix it. <laughs> um, because there wouldn't have been enough that way. Um, yes, see, see if I'd only followed the picture. Right, start that again. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, right, now I understand. It's more fiddly, I'm make, <laughs> making it more fiddly, but we can do this. Okay, so that's the bit that's sticking up. I'm sure I'll fix it. And the toe goes like that right okay so i will have enough wire doing it this way okay and then hold it at the ankle and try and twist 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 get, get hitting myself in the face with wire it's fine Oh, I knew this was going to be difficult. And then back toe. Bend. <laughs> and Alicia saying she pulled off loads of the cord as well. Oh, it keeps trying to hit me in the face. This is why I hate working with wire. But we're kind of getting there. <laughs> okay, gotcha. And then I'm sure, yes, we do the same with the second toe. Um, reading ahead <laughs> so I don't make the same mistake again. Um, Okay, think, think, think I've got it a bit more. Um, so, it'll, it'll come together. This was just me rushing ahead and not reading things, hitting the mic too. <laughs> um, Diana, I might admire your courage doing the feet in public. <laughs> Yes, I oh, I knew it would be fiddly. That <laughs> it was exactly the same when I was doing my big dragon. Um, I didn't do it live, but still trying to film and do the dragon armature. So difficult. Oh, and the bat as well. Bat wings. Yeah, <laughs> not good. But anyway, we're kind of... <laughs> There's a lot of fluff coming off, but... It, it looks it looks like a foot. It's still gonna work as a foot, I hope. Um, <laughs> Alicia wrapped 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 the wire around your head literally when you demoed it on Zoom. It was hilarious. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry that I miss you guys on Zoom. It sounds like a lot of fun, but oh, this one's twisting easier. And then 
I have lost track of which bit of wire is which. And then it says wrap it underneath the foot. I have fine admiration for a lily tree. Um, if we all, we all know Lily, who does wire wrap jewellery. Um, <laughs> okay, we, we have a foot. That, but can, can we say that's not bad? Right. Um, twist the tap up from the ankle for six centimetres or so. <laughs> Oh, it's easier to twist like this anyway. That's oh, oh, it's almost spot on, Pam. Uh, six centimeters. Now make a right angle bend. Right angled bend. Oh, your tootsies are getting out of shape. Five centimeters between the two legs. Yes. <laughs> now back to do this hell all over again <laughs> erica good foot thank you so much um uh, <laughs> and carol saying the feet were fun wire flapping everywhere um <laughs> alicia yeah bat wings are a nightmare to get those fingers right absolutely but it just makes such a difference it's so so cool to take the time to get the armature right for the the bat wings and then oh, six six ish um and if you get the armature right then the bat is awesome but oh, it's a nightmare <laughs> okay diana now do another the same yeah <laughs> that's the totally easy bit isn't it <laughs> cousins not twins not even sisters we're going for a for cousins, feet that look a bit like each other, maybe in the same family, but not identical. This is a very good handy template and the instructions are perfect, but oh, yeah, this kind of armature is so difficult, so fiddly. And I keep hitting the microphone, so sorry if you're getting noises. This is, you, only, you guys only came here to see me suffer, didn't you? It's like Pam's doing the feet. Let's come and laugh at her. <laughs> um, ankle is to there. Where have you come from? See, oh, seriously, where have you come from? Um, okay, I see. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't taken my eye out yet. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. I'm going to be black and blue at the end of this. We should all just post pictures of our injuries to the maker's page <laughs> so they can feel guilty for giving. <laughs> no, just <laughs> it's not their point fault. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Okay, so that toe wants to go in that direction. Yep. Yeah. Just gonna send that around the back. Oops. Yeah, these are not going to be identical feet at all, but they'll be similar. And most importantly, if they actually stand, that would be cool. And if I don't lose an eye, not lo not losing an eye would be super cool. There we go. Yeah, definitely not identical. That back toe is not as big as it should have been, but it is what it is. Um, just put your foot over there. Thank you, we guy. Covered in fluff. Um, uh, Alex did find the wire tough, almost gave up, <laughs> but decided it was good physio for my hand. Oh no, carpal tunnel at Christmas. Yeah, I've had um, ev everyone felting, be careful, that is actually a, a thing. Um, I 
most Christmases, past couple of Christmases, I've been okay. But most Christmases, I really have um, done my hand in with over felting. So be careful. And needle holders, not sponsored, but needle holders helped a hell of a lot. Am I allowed to say hell on YouTube? I am now. Um... Okay. Sorry, reading. <laughs> Can't read and talk at the same time. Um, when finished, bend the remainder so that the legs are 11 centimeters tall and trim off all the bits that I did wrong there. <laughs> it's fine. Um, and I, with wire, I find it really difficult. Um, obviously to find wire that's strong enough for everything to be able to stand but at the same at the same time to be able to actually <laughs> woo, to be able to actually work with it so i did find for my dragon i got a fairly firm wire just slightly firmer than this for his just spread your legs a little bit guy um slightly firmer than this for his body but i attached the joints with a much finer wire um which did just make it a little easier this this wire is just about workable <laughs> but it is very difficult so if you're having trouble you can go with different thicknesses of wire for different bits of it um and that definitely helps okay right i have legs they ain't perfect but they stand up. Okay, trim at 11 centimeters. Um, so that the legs, are, is it the whole of the legs are 11 cent? I think so, yes. So it's about there. That's fine. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> and. That's tough. <laughs> okay, we have feet. Okay, um, take a piece of your beige. Was that the light color or the dark? I have forgotten what colors. Um, yes, beige is the light one. Um, I just think I have enough left for these. Okay. reading ahead so I know what I'm doing um okay yeah totally can do <sighs> this bit's fiddly too I've done bits like this before but you can bend it and then bend it back once you're <laughs> once you've wrapped that's much easier um and you can also get sticky stuff to help with wrapping but I've never needed it if you just hold a bit and then go over itself a couple of times it holds pretty well and i'm watching see i won't manage it just now um alicia nylon covered pliers really help yeah um i just got cheap jewelry making pliers so mine are not the best things in the entirety of the world but it's just what i had lying about because i don't I don't do this detailed in armature very often. Uh, much easier with small dogs. Um, <laughs> Lisa, your short vid on the pipe cleaners made me giggle. You looked so disappointed with how short they were <laughs> at the spe at the start when there was two pams. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that was absolutely ages ago. I was since um, explained to that. The short ones are proper good quality pipe cleaners and everything. But when I ordered pipe cleaners, I wasn't expecting such tiny little things. Yes. So, so yeah, if anyone who's seen that video, <laughs> what what movie, anyone guess what movie was in my mind when I was referencing, when I was doing that? <laughs> I don't know if it was obvious. But, yeah, I can't remember. Someone was talking about editing videos and stuff, and I just remembered that I'd done that. I mean, it's not perfect. I was trying to do me speaking to myself on video and I can't with my camera I can't set the exposure the same so that it looks the same 
when I take two different shots, so I couldn't do it perfectly, but it's great fun um, if you're doing videos and you're all by yourself to then um, mess about and do some editing. Um, Oh, Ginger, yeah, uh, sorry, I was only joking about the injuries. You're saying don't post pictures of injuries. Some get scared off doing craft and sports. Yes, I'm I'm so sorry. I was only kidding there, absolutely. Um, as, as you've seen, I, I am a very clumsy person. So in general, if I'm managing to to not do more than the odd little odd little ouchie <laughs> just the amount of sm smacking myself in the face there i found amusing but yes don't yes we don't need to be putting people off the craft it, it's it's not really a an extreme sport <laughs> i can just see like it's like the craft that's full of like little middle-aged women <laughs> and an extreme sport um Oh, thank you, Lisa. Honestly, you talking to yourself was amazingly funny. No clue on the movie. Um, I, I'll let you guys know in secret. That was, um, so if anyone remembers, it was Crocodile Dundee I was thinking of. There's a bit in it um, where a guy pulls a knife on him and he's just like a little knife and he's going to stab him and Crocodile Dundee goes, that's not a knife that's a knife and the guy runs off um so that was <laughs> that was what i was trying to do with the tiny pipe cleaners i was going like look at this pipe cleaner and then the other me going that's not a pipe cleaner that's a pipe cleaner <laughs> yeah so don't know it it tickled me anyway um i did wonder how many people would actually <laughs> actually get the reference <laughs> but it amused me so that's the most important thing all right i'll do the other Feeties before I decide how much how much wool I've got left for his legs. <laughs> I always just about run run out. <laughs> Lisa gets it now. Cool. Um, I love this bit. Um, when you're finished wrapping the feet, you can add PVA glue. Um, to to the feet. Um. PVA glue is actually really cool. Um, or I use paper pole, which is very similar. Um, <laughs> Lisa gets it now. Um, Rose loved that scene, and Alicia, yet yeah, to remember the scene. I will. Oh no, wrong, wrong dragons up here. But on my dragon, I used glue. Um, and what I found really, really super easy thing: if you're adding glue, add the glue to your bit your piece and then like leave it to get semi hard like about an hour or something until it's until it's kind of set up a little bit and then you can sculpt it almost with your hands it's really kind of cool the the change that happens there um so that's a good way especially like if you want to get the, the talons a little bit you can do it leave it and um, these are cool you could like stick it into something to stick it upside down to let it dry for an hour or so and then you can come and smooth and sculpt and it's it's like a completely different medium it's really cool um <laughs> carol loves crocodile dundee good day you pelican is that something i've totally missed or forgot from a film <laughs> But yeah, that was oh, that was so long ago that I made that video though. That was when I was still sitting in my kitchen. I used the I still had the same wallpaper, but I was downstairs in my kitchen, and this is upstairs in my spare room. But to keep continuity, I took the same background upstairs. But hopefully, audio. I'm talking as the mic. Hopefully, audio and everything's a little better since I moved. Um, Fingers crossed. <laughs> right. And again, with the feet, I would spend like a good bit of time felting over these and smoothing them out. And like it, like it says, also putting glue on. That could be really cool. But we will move on um, in a little while. But hey, only 40 minutes in and I've nearly finished this guy. Just going to be tidying them up smoothing them out making them look prettier but that's that's not bad <laughs> right so i don't quite have enough of this to fully cover his legs so i'm gonna cover him white and then go over the top 
because I don't want his legs too skinny. I always use more than I'm supposed to. <laughs> oh, Alicia, I see what you did there. Now this is a pipe cleaner. <laughs> a four meters long of pipe cleaner. <laughs> right, so there's a little bit of white. I'll just tack it on. And then take half of what I've got left here. Because <laughs> I don't want to... Could order some more, obviously, but that's just me using up too much of one colour, as ever. There we go. That works perfect. And see there, you don't need any kind of stuff to to help you wrap things. It wraps wraps well enough by itself. Um, <laughs> Sheila ran out of the beige too. Yeah, that's <laughs> the end. It's super difficult. I tried to do kits a few years ago, and just oh, so much extra work. Like just doing tutorials. <laughs> Just doing tutorials is so much easier, um, but to do kits you have to like make the thing again and again and see how much you think you're going to need and then everyone else does <laughs> does different amounts and then Pam comes on the internet and yeah, she uses a completely different amount. Um, <laughs> Lisa, size doesn't always matter. <laughs> Very true. Um Rose, how do you not poke yourself? Well, if you go back to the start of this video, you will see I do poke myself. Um, I don't poke myself so often. I actually don't, for everyone's heard this a million times, but I um, hope you don't mind hearing it again. I find I poke myself less when I'm holding an object in my hands because I have kind of a much better idea where my fingers are in the world like this. Rather than having something flat on a surface and poking into it, I can't tell where the tops of my fingers are. And the injuries I've seen on people tend to be more worse sort of going through like this. Um, but that is just just me, um, everyone else finds their own way to do it. That is the cool thing, is there is literally no right and wrong. Um, a few years ago, people were like all up in arms that people were using glue and stuff on a piece. In fact, when I started, people were like, oh, I don't think you should use wire. It's not needle felted if you've got wire in it. It has to be sort, you know, literally people would put that as like a selling point on their pieces. It's like, whoop, it's got no wire, no glass eyes. It's all solid needle felted all the way through. Um, people would look down on people who used a little bit of chalk for shading or something, but you know, mixed media, yeah, do the lot. Um, oh, Alicia, yeah, great idea. Using pipe cleaners to whap, whap wrap around the wire and then florist tape to cover the feet it's working great there i will have to find him again there's a a sculpture artist i've been following who had a great tutorial for doing like tim burton inspired hands and stuff and he did it's not florist tape right difficulty with different continents um calling the same things different things but i think it's um multi the little tape you put on for wounds and stuff. Um, oh, what do you call it? Multiport? Mu no, I can't remember what you call it. Um, but white tape just for like sticking on stuff that's not plasters and doesn't stick to your skin and stuff. Um, but he used that and then dipped it, like covered it in glue to make a kind of paper mache. And that looked awesome as well. So, yeah, absolutely. Things like that. Um, and florist tape is great fun. Another thing, I actually used florist tape quite a bit in making my dragon um, for the joints as well, to go over and make them nice and secure, to cover over any bits of wire that was like the start and the end of bits of wire to smooth out joints and things. Yeah, I found florist wire super helpful for that. Um, yeah. And again, you can add like a fine bit of glue over the top of florist wire. Micropore, thank you. I knew I was close. Micropore. <laughs> yes, you're so right, Diana. Micropore tape. Yes. Um, 
yeah <laughs> so all all sorts of stuff you can use a uh, mum yeah micropore <laughs> thank you but diana was first <laughs> um yeah i don't know how much to felt his feet i'm desperate just to stick his feet into his body and see if he actually stands up <laughs> there's, there's a good chance that he won't without a lot of finagling But yes, this, I, does anyone else do this? Like when I'm creating something, there's certain stages like doing the body when there's nothing on it. I spend hours on that because I'm nervous to go into the next part. So I'll, with a plain white critter, I'll spend ages just smoothing and making sure everything's perfect. But then I get to certain bits like just now and I just I don't want to spend the time on this because it looks good. It's so nearly done. I just want to put everything together and then I would like put his legs in and stuff and then come back and make it 100 times more difficult by trying to smooth out the feet once they're on the body. <laughs> um, I don't I don't have the patience to sit and and just do this random bit until it looks really awesome. But yes, using tape for feet is a cool idea as well. Um, and you can buy ready-made feet. I think the makers do some, but probably not in quite this size. But you can buy ready-made feet if you're struggling with feet because they are fiddly. Um, but it didn't take too long. I think it was only about 20 minutes to wind all the wire. I only smacked myself in the face <laughs> a little bit. Um Alicia, you're avoiding putting the dots on your owl's wings. You're too scared. Yeah, I did worry about that a little bit, but it turned out not too bad. Um, I'm I'm happy with it. I think the trick is just to not go too big. So, like some of them are kind of blending in. It looks a bit like shading. I was totally happy with that. Um, but I was worried they could kind of look a bit like eyeballs. <laughs> but yeah, get. Get on with it. At least I saw last week you put up the picture that you'd been working on your wings and you'd got really far with them already. So <laughs> get on with it. <laughs> but yeah, I totally know there's some little bits of detail and you're just like, I'll get to that eventually. <laughs> It's actually good. Well, Alicia, you've got the same because you're in the Zoom, but it's good doing stuff kind of live because it means I do have to get on and do stuff. So finish without all the extra fiddling. Um, oh, he's got chunky legs, right? Sh shut your feet up a little bit. That's that's just way too much, son. Oh. But that looks like it might stand. Um, okay. <laughs> Bend them so the end of the toes sit flat. Wow. This does need a lot more felting. It's very soft and very lumpy. The more I felt, I can sculpt it into a nicer shape. But that's not bad. Um, get the feet looking roughly symmetrical. I'm, I'm going to call it on roughly. Um, make sure the two prongs are straight and pointing in the same direction. It's close, close enough. Um, Okay, so the legs go in just above the tail shadings, about there. So I'm going to, <laughs> because we've already got purple bits on my owl. There we go. <laughs> let's let's see if that shows up or not in the final piece, and then use my stabbier needle to make a hole. Um, Diana, yeah, ready-made feet are brilliant for robins and blue tits. Yes, I keep, I've still got to do the pom-pom robin. That needs doing. Um, and then we could add feet onto that. <laughs> Alicia, yeah, you want to just to be just right. Get on with making the wings. <laughs> oh, Eva, I was scared to put your wings in the water, so I waited four days to finish. I won't lie, I was a little bit. It was fine when I've done the butterfly and I've done the fairy's wings because I was filming, like not live, I was filming. So if everything fell apart, I could just edit that bit out and do some more. Whereas with this, you'd all seen me make this. I have no more of this color. Um, so yeah, um, 
if it had gone completely wrong, then the, there's no getting out of it. I would just have to come on and say, look, my wings fell to pieces. But they didn't. They held up. So if they're anywhere near as thick as mine are, which is not very thick, and as well felted, which is not very well felted, <laughs> they'll be fine. Um, Alicia, you dyed your hair bright purple. Fantastic. Yes. <laughs> I'm liking it. We we need plenty of purple haired people in the world. Right, let's see if that's enough. Probably not. Ooh, like some kind of bizarre surgery. <laughs> Excuse me, son. <laughs> no, need more at that side. Uh that needle. Um so Alicia, I need to see the Alicia with bright purple hair. That sounds so cool. But yeah, I'm just trying to make a little tunnel for the legs to go into. If that doesn't work, you can actually just use scissors. Wool is very forgiving. Right, is that going to work? Oh, we're getting there. Yay, we did it. We done it. <laughs> okay, so I just have to um, take some white long thin strips to cover the top of each leg gotcha and the wire um and check if it stands up i, I love that piece of advice <laughs> yes um but yeah so add in the dots because that's not going to be seen because i'm going to be adding some white around the legs as well to firm them up right little guy sorry but we just need to do this Good thing about a wire. <laughs> but yeah, good thing about a wire armature is you can <laughs> do that to get in about him better, right? And a small amount to go around the top of each leg. And this will just stabilize him and also kind of blend it in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> These legs are so comedically, comedically bad just now. I do need to work on them quite a bit. Um, Alex, you dyed your hair as well. Right, are you guys all lying to me or do we have... Oh, excuse me. Or do we have a ton of us with all now purple dyed, dyed hair? Alicia's PM'd me some, some photos, right? I'm going to have to go and have a look at that. She has indeed. Oh, wow. That looks so cool. Alicia, do, do you mind if I show them? That is so cool. If not, that's cool too. Um, <laughs> but let me know if that's okay to show you. Yeah, you look awesome. Cool. Everybody, purple hair. It's the way to go. <laughs> not at all. Um, Skywolf, hi there. Hi, Pam. How are you? Had my... Lager lurgy word that I'm not allowed to say on the internet, but um had your vaccination, so I'm a bit tired. Oh, but hopefully back to needle felting soon. Oh, I'm sorry you're feeling a bit under the weather, but fantastic that you got your got your jab. That's so good to hear. It's so many of like mum's friends and friends of friends and things are are saying they've had their vaccine, and it's so good, so good to hear. So many people are are getting getting protected. Um, um, I don't know whether to to laugh or not. Like a lot of a lot of my friends are over fifty now, um, but a few of them aren't. And in in the UK, the the groups that they're talking about being vaccinated, it's it's all sorts of you know, obviously quite right. The older people and then people with illnesses and all sorts of things. And the last group they're talking about, it, it's up to fifties. Um, so I'm like laughing, kind of like. Do you have a go at your friends that are old that are gonna that, that are on the list to get the vaccines, or do you, do you feel sad that you're not on the list to get the vaccines? Not old enough doesn't happen often, um, but yeah, so good that you've you've been done. And and they say feeling a bit rubbish is is a good thing because that's your your body building up antibodies and things. So it's good, but I hope you feel better soon. Um, 
Um, oh, Alicia says I can share. Yee um, Have a screen. Share screen. Um, Chrome tab. Facebook. Does the, okay, everyone, did that kind of work? Um, let me know if that's what you can see. Oh, no, you can't yet. Okay, show. Let's bigger that. Bigger that sounds <laughs> That looks so cool. Thank you so much for sharing. <laughs> Love it. Oh, no, if I put myself away, then you won't hear me. Um, can I make you bigger? I can. Yay, look. <laughs> Alicia, you look awesome. Thank you so much for sharing that. <laughs> what fun. Um, that one, too many buttons to press. I need staff. Um. Oh, Diana, if you joined us in our Zoom, you'd see several of it. What? Okay, what's the purple hair thing? Definitely not complaining, but okay, what's the deal with the purple hair? Loving it. Um, Alicia, yeah, using the glue really makes it smoother. Absolutely. Um... <laughs> Ginger, I was told if I were to dye my hair, it could only be purple. Absolutely. Love it. Um... <laughs> Uh, Alicia's saying, go for it, G. And Bridget's hair is lavender. Loving it. Oh, guys, that's cool. Um, Ginger, you'd rather do henna orange, but he's not a redhead fan. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I used to do henna years ago. It was fun. Um, Skywolf, oh, you're 23. Don't know how I got it, but my doctor told me to go, so I went. Fantastic. Um, no, absolutely. I'm hearing around here as well. Some people, like when it gets to the end of the day, if the few people haven't turned up or there's a bit extra, then of course they're just going to say, Look, can you come in? Can you come in right now and get done? So, you know, rather than waste the time. So it's great. So fantastic. I hope you feel better soon, but I'm so glad to hear so many people are being protected. Um, I love the wings. How do you do the feathers? Ah, well, you can either look back. Um, we did the wings last week. So my my last week needle felting owl <laughs> Sunday video. Um, you'll see them in that. But it's it's just it's a load of shading, and we used uh, water soluble paper to make the wing. So you draw the wing, you felt it all on, and then you put the paper in water and it magically disappears and you're left with the felted thing. Um, Alicia, oh, thank you. Um, Pam, you've been an inspiration. <laughs> uh, wish I could get mine done like yours, but permanent. Oh, thank you so much. Um, anyone can get the <laughs> carry on. Um, I don't know of any actual proper purple bright colours, um, unfortunately. I would like not to have to dye mine so often. It just seems to have faded within minutes of dyeing it. Um, Diana, mine's been pink purple for quite a while. I got strange remarks at first. Meeting um, people. I was going to say I don't have strange remarks, but I just don't talk to people that would be like that. Alicia, yes, famous poem. When I'm older, I'll wear purple and learn how to spit. Yes, <laughs> I know that one as well. Um, Skywolf, got to go for tea. Thank you so much for dropping in. Yep, and stay safe. Look after yourself. Yep. So such good news here in that, that some people are getting vaccinated. But yes, we have to still keep keep looking after ourselves even even after that because it's not a hundred percent yet <laughs> looks like a kind of dis <laughs> i'll fix his legs in a minute i'm just want to get this a little bit smoothed out because i didn't felt his belly quite as firmly as i should have done um so it's a little bit fluffy so i'm not getting a very smooth blend on his legs but it will happen Alicia, in America, we have a red hat society that wears red hats and purple clothes. You can only wear pink until you're 50. <sighs> Rubbish. 
I, I'm going to wear whatever I want for as long as I want to. I seem to remember many years ago, people used to wear, used to say, sorry, I'm like bashing the table as I'm felt in. Many years ago, people used to say how you could only, um, you could only wear a mini skirt up until you were 30. Rubbish. Wear what you want. If it works for you, wear it. If it, in fact, even if it doesn't look great, if it makes you happy, wear it. If anyone doesn't like it, then that's their problem, not yours. <laughs> um, Diana, exactly. If they don't like it, they're not people I care about. Absolutely. Yes. Thankfully, I've got um, all my friends are totally supportive and just just as daft. Um, and and when when they can, when when they're in jobs that permit, they totally dye their hair mad colours as well. Um, Lovely Carly, who we've had in the chat before, totally, totally beats beats me with multicolored hair going down the way. But it's also got got areas. There's the bright yellow UV reactive hair. It's amazing. <laughs> really weird, weird story actually. Um, with some family that I'd never met before, we only got to know about recently. And um, then linked up on Facebook and got to see some pictures. And basically, an aunt of mine I never knew before dyes her hair the same colours as me. <laughs> I was like, yep, yeah, it's definitely in the family. And she loves elephants. And my mum is a huge fan of elephants. So purple hair and loving elephants is genetic, apparently. Who, who'd have known it? <laughs> um, so, yeah, if you're dyeing your hair purple, then you're in my family some way or another. Um, I'm, did, did I use a oh, tiny bit of grey left? I just want to blend that little bit's annoying me. So I'm just doing a tiny blend to hide it much better. Um, Eva, in Norway, we're a bit behind with the vaccine. Oh, even with cancer, I haven't got it yet. So I haven't been outside for a year. Oh, hopefully they'll get around to it quickly. Um, I think... I think all these places are catching up. It's just taken a bit to get started. But I know all these places, once once you start rolling it out, it'll be quick. So fingers crossed. But, yeah, I can't imagine not being outside for a year. You have to take care of yourself, but that's horrible. Um, Ginger, yeah, mum would say, like it or lump it. Absolutely. Um <laughs> Alicia, in the club for the meetings and outing, under 50s have to wear pink as they aren't old yet <laughs> and can't have the honour of red and purple and must wear pink and lilac. <laughs> oh boy, that's brilliant. That is rather hilarious. <laughs> yeah. I don't like the, the whole ageist thing. Get that. Um, there's a. Somebody put me in to join a Facebook group and it was, I'm sorry if anyone's in this, I'm not having a go at anyone in particular, but oh boy. Um, but it was this group and it was called the Elder Goth Group. So I thought I'd join it. Okay, fair enough. And oh my goodness, like gatekeepers of a community or what? They're like coming in and saying, I've heard there's people under 50 here. And then someone else, one of the mods was saying, I've I've been in and I've kicked out the people who are under 45. Um, and I could tell by looking on their profile if they liked some shock horror, if they had some metal bands in their likes, then we threw them out because they clearly aren't elder goths. And they're just like, oh, Say, get over yourself. <laughs> I only joined because someone asked me, but I left after that. I was just like, oh, seriously, <laughs> elder gods. <laughs> and just trying to think they're think it's something special. New. No. All that happens is we haven't died. <laughs> there, there's nothing special about being old. <laughs> sorry, sorry, son. Look, we're just going to do that just so you look a little bit less bad. Um, can you actually stand up? Ooh, yeah, you could you could stand more upright, son. That's a bit... It's a bit hunched over. <laughs> can he stand? Can he back? He can stand. Ooh. <laughs> there we go. Um, so I'm just going to felt him a bit more 
upright and then we're done <laughs> elder goths now that's funny says alicia i know don't everybody go join in the group so you can point and laugh at the old goths i didn't say that <laughs> i thought it could have been fun and since then, um, I got asked to join a Facebook group of nightclub that I went to um, when I was between 18 and 20. And it's so interesting. Everyone putting up pictures and telling stories of like being at this, this club in the very early 90s. It's very weird. It sort of feels like it wasn't long ago at all, while at the same time being a really long time ago. So that's kind of cool. And nobody's being all judgy, like if people are a bit older or a bit younger. And it's kind of worrying the number of people that's like, here's a picture of me when I was in the club at 15. And you're like, really? The, the, bouncers really need, <laughs> the bouncers needed words. But it was super cool to, super cool to sort of see some old faces and hear you know, hear some old names that are people have not thought of in 20 years, more than 20 years. So cool. But yes, they're much less elitist than the old, the elder goths. <laughs> Maybe we should do that. It's like the elder needle felters, people who've been about since the beginning, which is, I believe, needle... I believe I did a video on it. I researched. I can't remember. I think needle felting started in the early, early to mid eighties. So I don't think there are any elder needle felters. We're all, we're all later than that. I think. But but yeah, can you imagine the elder felters? You have to come and listen to our superior wisdom. <laughs> I mean, I've I've been doing it a while, but I've not learned that much apart from like felting danger felting in the air but apart from that there's so many people that can just start up and you know within six months are doing better than i could ever hope to felt although i do love my owl look at those those feathers are gorgeous it's cool because i'm not taking sort of credit for any of this because it's the maker's designs not me so i can say it looks good Lisa, shall we say 12 plus the <laughs> 12 plus for for elder felters or elder goths? <laughs> okay. Oh, you probably can't, you can't see from this angle because I've got a light over there. I'm seeing how much you can see through this little wing, but it works really well. Um it's really but see everyone should felt with a camera in front of them right there's no need for that camera is there everyone should felt with a camera in front of them because i can see like different angles and different you know where little bits look patchy and stuff that i can't quite see it the same um Alicia, yeah, sometimes you think, is that really your first make, not believing them? I know, but people have come from a lot of different backgrounds, like people who've worked in sculpture before um, can actually be pretty, get the hang of this really quickly. Um, <laughs> Lisa, felters, I think you've put me off the goths. Oh, <laughs> it's only some. Most, most, most people are just, just out to... I was gonna say drink beer, but it's not to to drink snake bite or diesel. Does anyone know what I mean by snake bite or diesel? Um, but to drink drink diesel and dance dance to music. <laughs> it's just the very few. Um, and I left that group. Very much left that group. <laughs> I wasn't even sure because they just called it Elder Goth and one minute they're saying you had to be over 50, the next you had to be over 45 and the next you had to be over 40. So it's kind of like, can I be here? Am I allowed? Am I allowed to be here? But anyway, we, don't, we, we have our own club of purple haired people now. <laughs> You don't have to have purple hair to be here, but I do appreciate it if you have. That's pretty cool. All right. Shall we shall we say this guy is made? Ooh, you, he doesn't want to stand up straight. Come on, fella. Be, pr be proud of yourself. 
There you go. <laughs> so we have, ooh, we have an owl. So, right, I'm going to give you a couple of minutes. That's not as bright white in real life as it looks, but I'm out of beige. But yeah, that's <laughs> that looks way brighter than it actually is. It's quite a nice blend of browns. <sighs> Problems with the camera. He actually does. <laughs> He stands up on the table. Um, I don't have anything. I don't have anything I can stand him on that you can see. I have a plethora of makers boxes. Not quite tall enough. Anyway, yeah, he needs his place. Where where shall this guy live? Really running out of space. Is this? He's too tall for a shelf. Um, there we go. Okay, yeah. Oh, that looks really good, doesn't it? <laughs> a little owl peeking at us. That's going to fall. Um, right. I'll give you all a couple, couple of minutes to say goodbye. But yeah, next week we will be starting on the sheep. Um, this is cool. Um... Lisa, your daughter is 14 and she loves goth style. I'm like rock rock chick, but older. No, they're not older at all. Um, yeah, I was I was always more rock chick than than goth, to be honest. Um, but a lot of crossover. But be be what you wanna be and cool on your daughter. T tell her I I I approve. <laughs> Carol has purple sparkly socks. Loving it. <laughs> Um, Lisa, he's like the mascot sitting there. Absolutely. Um, thanks for today was fun as usual. Thank you so much for joining. Yeah, guys, that has been really cool. I'm super happy with how he turned out. We had a daft chat. Um, enjoyable day. Um, I will see you all next week. I do have some videos um coming up this week so check them out um oh, alicia love the jacket thank you it was so cold today um it's absolutely massive it's like a huge thing because yes for british people if you're ordering clothes from the us their sizes are quite different from ours in the uk right, I'll tell you, this this jacket's a large in the uk if you buy a large that's tiny in the us apparently i can fit oh i can fit six or seven more people in here but <laughs> i was freezing so i bunged on a jacket um <laughs> ginger the oil the, the oil the owl could be on top shelves watching for smaller critters yeah sadly he's just a bit too big so he's gonna have to perch at the side uh diana thanks for see you next week cool ginger happy sunday and Alex, see you next week. Thank you all for joining in. Before you leave, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Come back every week um, if you can. I 